this is Josh Placer from GameWisdom.com and for this video I am taking a look at Energy Hook. This game has been in development for a few years now. It's coming from uh, Happyian Laboratories developer Jamie Freestrom. I've spoken with Jamie a few times actually on my podcast and what Energy Hook is is essentially taking the uh, web swinging mechanic from the classic open world game Spider-Man 2, Spider-Man the Movie 2, I think, and basically turning into its own extreme sport of the future. The game has been open and available to get into like, the alpha for the last few years now. It finally made it onto Steam and Early Access a few months ago, and they just released a, I believe, a major update to the game. So I've been waiting for a good excuse to check the game out and stream a little bit of it. So before we get going with all that exciting stuff, just a little bit of information. First, as you can see, this game is currently in early access. We're at revision 682. So if you're watching this recorded, what you see here may not be indicative of what the current version of the game is. Also, I pretty much suck at the game. I really need to get back into the swing of things. No pun intended. So. Don't be expecting expert level play in this little stream. I think with that, we are about ready to start. One second. So I want to check the stream, make sure everything looks good. All right, let's do this. If the game will recognize my gamepad, I mean, I have to get in first. There we go. Tap A. Whee. So you can see we're basically using a lot of the mechanics from Spider-Man 2. Okay. There we go. Hold the boost down. Whoop. Okay. So, as with before, first off, hope you're not watching this after you you just ate, because this game can be a little dizzy. Alright, the challenge is you have to try and perform tricks and not break your character like I just did. So the game, as I said, takes place sort of like as extreme sports of the future. I need to figure out how to do... Oh wait, did they change that? I'm trying to get the controls down. I think I just broke her head. Thankfully this game doesn't feature realistic graphics or she would be dead by now. Okay. There we go. Let's see. You can use either the actual directional pad or holding down a button to cause your character to sort of spin. Okay. Uh, ow. Well, I hope Jamie is not watching this right now. <laughs> Alright, let's see. I saw something. Oh, here it is. So there is a form of creds or currency, the form of cred, and that will unlock like new pieces for you to use. Okay. We. Okay. How can you wall? Okay, so it is B. Now I got an achievement. <laughs> okay, let's try our first challenge. Very second trick 
Uh, okay. Okay, do minor tricks by holding down buttons while in the air. I hate to say it, still feel a little cumbersome. Okay, come on, let's do it. Well, I got bronze. Like, I'm hitting B, but it's not doing anything, and the game says B is one of the trick buttons. Oh, B, why aren't you doing anything? Alright, maybe another button? Okay, so holding the button down. Hmm. It still feels doesn't feel as um, refined as I would like. Part of the problem is that your character doesn't seem to behave with any real physics, so it makes them feel very floaty. Let's see. Okay, so X does the swan dive. I have no idea what Y just did. Come on. There's seem to be a way to uh, control the length of your rope. Okay. As with the Spider-Man game, you do have to attach to realistic, f to an actual object to get the swing working. Okay. Controls just don't feel right to me. You tell me I can do flips in the air. Uh. Uh. Didn't seem to grab anything there. I actually did three tricks, and I didn't kill myself. Race across, where do I have to go? through the menu. Let's see, energy hook, shoot detector beams. Alright. What I would like is that every trick button lets you do a wall jump or a wall run. Because it just feels very awkward to always press B. Let's see. I have no idea where I am. 
I just bounced off that wall. Do a clean swing. How hard would that be? What? How was it cancelled? That's weird. What? Almost. Ugh. Well, the first time I played, I didn't seem to have so much trouble with the controls. I would say another complaint, or just another control thing. Instead of using the D-pad, I think I would rather have a button modifier to do this swinging. Because... Your hand is going to be naturally on the analog stick. And, you, and the only way to use it is to take your hand off of it. So, if we do this... Okay... seem to be a smart camera, so I'm constantly having to readjust it. Okay. Well, I did something. Yeah, as you can see, you get upgrades to the energy hook as you play. Oh. Let's go to another area and see what we can get. Alright, jump or swing to a wall. You have to hold the button down, obviously. Okay, here it goes. Press up and down to reel the hook in. Okay. Now here's another bit of a thing. I would like some way to jump while run wall running. We oh god. Come on, why aren't you grabbing? Hmm. Things are still very chaotic from what I'm seeing. Causing me more trouble than anything else. Okay. Oh. Flip. We're doing it. We're doing it. Multiple tricks. And I didn't stick the landing. I don't know what I was supposed to do with the landing, though. Boost, boost, boost. 
must not touch the ground. How did I die? way to stop. <laughs> there are those ragdoll physics for you. Okay, there's a challenge up there. I need to figure out a way to get there without killing myself. And that didn't work. I think what my issue is, is that it feels like I'm pressing a lot of buttons to make very little motion happen. What the hell? <laughs> Doesn't have any safe way to land either. Again. Damn, you can't fight on the ceilings. We're going up. going on right now. Uh, come on. Woo! Well, we landed. Hmm. Where to go now? See something. What? 
up more than that. Okay, I seem to be stuck. Alright, and besides these open areas, there are like actual like environment sort of platform challenges. They keep saying about the VR stuff. Nope, nope, stop, stop, stop. What? Why didn't it latch on? Yeah, things are still... What the hell's going on here? Oh, I just fell through the world. And it's still very much in early access, as you can probably tell from the footage. Why is it not latching on anything there? Okay, I'm gonna let it go, and I'm dead. There should be some kind of like safe land command or something you can, a mechanic you can use to cushion your landing. What the? I'm ready to go there. the beat by now, I'm still dead. Oh. I was a lot better at Spider-Man than I am at Energy Hook, it seems. Ooh. Come on. Come on. Wall running can still be a pain from what I'm seeing. Alright, we actually made it up. That's good. Oh, come on. Where the hell are we? Oh. <laughs> Looks like I found some people here. Oh yeah, I got more jump power. Come on, latch on to something. Oh, here we go. It's like a scene from Virgo. Oh god, I fell through those things. Okay. I would like to find a uh, VR challenge just to show that off. You can see tricks will end either if you don't do enough in the air or if you land on something solid. Alright, there's something right there. Just like with a crackdown, there's these little geocache you can find, which I think give you more cred and unlock something. Okay, there we go. Unlock the teleporter. Come on. There we go. Oh god, not another race. <laughs> I wish there was a shortcut to restart. Because I think a lot of people are going to need that. Alright, climb up here. Do a little spin. Yeah, I would rather have like another modifier for the wall jump because it just feels awkward to shift my hand and hit the B button while I'm trying to do these little tricks. The game's definitely button heavy at the moment from what I'm seeing. Okay, going up, going up. something down there. Okay. Yay, we hit the ground out dying. Maybe this will be easier. Come on. 
is it doubling straight out of the uh, Spider-Man game? Good old uh, hoop challenges. I think the hoop should be a little quicker though. Oh, and get the high score. Okay. Well, take the future land. Oh, well, we're getting upgrades, which is nice. Alright, where are we now? I believe there is a VR challenge here. We just need to find it. Okay. Not again. Oh god. Yeah, let's just cancel all that. The hook is definitely a little weird from what I'm seeing. Oh. And that could also be me just not under getting the physics of the game yet. But as I said, it feels like I'm doing a lot of action. I mean, I'm pressing a lot of buttons to get very little actual action out of the character. Right, I think that's where the VR challenge was. Is it? Come on, you. Teleport to Southeast Island. is not uh, winning me over still. It doesn't seem to be able to keep up with the fact that I'm constantly trying to adjust my trajectory. Come on. Ugh. Yeah, it's definitely getting a little frustrating to play. I had this problem when I first played it, way back when it was still off of Early Access. And it still needs somewhere fine on these controls. Now for people playing with the keyboard, I don't know if it's any easier, but I'm using a gamepad. Okay. I want to get over there. Yay! No! Okay. Is this it? Teleport to the new... Okay, where am I? Oh! I mean, it's nice that the game gives you plenty of places to actually do your swinging around. Oh, come on. Okay. Like, I'll give you an example of why the controls are giving me trouble. In order to do a trick, I need to press X or Y. In order to be swinging, I need to be holding down the right trigger or right button. And then in order to do a wall jump, I need to be holding down the B button. But I always need to be holding down the R button while I'm swinging, so I have to constantly keep shifting my right hand around in order to make sure that I'm hitting everything right. If I don't, things go very badly. Okay. Oh, there's something. No idea why the hook didn't latch onto anything there. Okay, come on. 
There we go. Now what? And the wall jump still feels very finicky. I think that's the best way I can use to describe the game right now, unfortunately. Okay, come on. Uh, come on, you're supposed to go wall run up. And you can see the camera definitely still has some trouble with keeping pace. Uh, come on. Like, it feels like the game is going faster than what the controls are letting me do. Let's see. Okay, we made it back. I still really want to show off a VR challenge. The only way to do is I have to find the portal. Ugh. Wait, I'm... Um, no, I'm dead. Okay, we're off of there. Come on. Come on. Something. Uh. Where am I? <laughs> the hell's going on? I'm starting to give me a little headache. Let's see. We're at about 30 minutes, so I think I'm going to call it. I hate to say this, but the game still feels like it needs a lot more refinement. My general impression of these controls is that it still feels very unwieldy. And it could be partly due to how the controls are set up. It could be this camera. And camera design can be one of the more annoying things to get right. I hope that's the portal, cuz... Come on. Hmm. I'm feeling like I'm fighting these controls, and that's not a good thing. Okay, found the VR challenge, so that's good. Oh, come on! Ugh. It just, as I said, I'm fighting things a lot more than I really should for this type of game. And the camera needs to be a little smarter, I think. What? Alright. Let's show this off, and then I can rest my head. So these VR challenges basically task you to get to a specific area alive. Oh, 
know that was good. No idea what I was supposed to latch onto. Why is the camera going the other way? Again, as I mentioned, the game is still very much in early access. Okay, maybe I can go here. Oh, come on. Like, for instance, I'm my hand is naturally going to the X button, and so it just feels weird having to hold down the B in order to do any kind of wall running and all that. Okay. I did something, I don't know what. Mm. All right, I think I'm gonna call it. So that was Energy Hog, as I said. Um, still in early access. I don't know when the game is going to be done. I know Jamie is working hard on it, and hopefully there'll be some more refinement done to these controls before the game is officially out. And as I said, I think I'm still pretty lukewarm on it. It's got the makings of like that great. Uh, control and design of Spider-Man 2, but it just feels like the pieces aren't uh, connected all the way yet. You could see from this play that I was just fighting a lot of these controls, and even when I finally got used to some of it by the end, it still felt a little unwieldy to me. So I'm really hoping that we see some more improvements through the early access. So, uh, for those of you who've been watching this, thanks so much for tuning in. And if you've been enjoying this on YouTube and want to see more videos, please like and subscribe to the channel. It'll help me out a lot. And everybody, please check out game-wisdom.com for posts and podcasts relating to game design and the industry. You can find the podcast that I've had with Jamie on there. And uh, please check out the Patreon campaign to secure some much needed monthly funding. You can find me on Patreon under Josh Beister or Game Wisdom, and any donations would be greatly appreciated. And as always for the YouTube crowd, please check out Twitch, that is under GW Bicer, most nights at 10 Eastern to watch these plays and a variety of others live. So, I'm going to rest my head after all that, and I will catch you all next time. Take care.